What's going on guys? Welcome to today's quarantine vlog. We're living our best quarantine life. So I'm just about to hit a workout now. Sipping on some pre-workout. I've started taking pre-workout. Say workout one more time. Go on, say it. I started taking pre-workout before my home workouts because it actually makes me feel a little bit more like I'm actually going to the gym. It's kind of like a mental cue. I found it very helpful at the moment. And if you go watch the last ghost video or the second last one, you will see a sneak preview at my new pre-workout, limited edition signature pre-workout that I'm doing with Ghost. So exciting times ahead, and I can't wait for that to come out. But anyways, um, speaking of exciting times, yesterday was like Christmas. We got our delivery off some really good home gym equipment, um, mainly some dumbbells and some kettlebells that are gonna completely change my workout and that I'm actually gonna get a full workout now. So I'm really excited for that. So let's get into it and then also take the trip my day, show you everything I eat today. It's just gonna be the most epic quarantine vlog ever. I love quarantine. I wanna stay in quarantine forever. I'm going insane. Let's get into the vlog. Welcome to today's video. In this one, we are going to be going over how I am training and eating during this global pandemic. What an amazing YouTube title, wow. Anyways, let's start with training. What you're seeing on the screen here is a full body workout with some of the new equipment that arrived. I'm honestly delighted with the stuff. It's from an Irish website called Apollo Fitness. And what I'm most happy about is that I've actually managed to get some decent weight. The dumbbells are 32.5 kg each and the kettlebell is 28 kg. Combine a resistance band with some of the exercises and you've actually got a difficult workout on your hands. I'm playing around with a few different splits and most importantly, just getting in some exercise. If one week I do three times full body and the next week I train six times and do legs push pull, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. I'm just happy to be able to be getting in some resistance training while all gyms are closed. I'm even more so working out for my mind and for health reasons. I think a lot of us forget that lifting weights or resistance training is not just for how we look on the outside, but it also has huge amounts of health benefits. Now seeing as I can't increase weight in my training, as I have no weight to increase to, the form of progression I will be focusing on is reps and total sets. Now that I have some decent weights, I really don't see myself losing any muscle during this time. I actually felt great after doing today's workout. As I said in my complete guide to home workouts video, muscle is much, much easier to maintain once you've put in the years. So I'm not worried about that. There's a lot more to worry about than losing some muscle during these crazy times. So to sum things up, I will be following a flexible training approach. It will all be high reps with three to four sets per exercise taken close to or to failure. A good question I got recently is, do I think progress can be made with home workouts? And my answer to that is, like always, it depends. It depends on levels of expertise. So if you are a complete raw beginner, you will make progress with anything. If you've never set foot in the gym, you will make progress just by starting to lift. But as time goes on and you get more and more advanced, it will get more difficult and you will need to be more precise and more serious with your training. So don't think an advanced trainee can make progress without access to a decent weight setup or a gym. I could be wrong, that's just my opinion. In regards to nutrition, my calories have been at around 2,900, which is maintenance levels for me. I'm not tracking every day, but I'm still very conscious of what I eat, hitting around 200 grams of protein per day and letting fat and carbs fall where they may as long as I end up around my calorie goal. As soon as gyms open up again or I find out about a competition I can enter, I'll go back into a deficit and start training for that. I'm gonna stay in shape for sure right now, but I just don't see a point in cutting down and getting super lean so I can stand in my living room. I am of course still a bit annoyed that everything gets canceled the one year I decide to compete again, but what I keep saying to myself is me getting angry at this situation would be me like shouting at the sky when it rains. There's nothing I can do about it. We're all in this together. I am not getting singled out. All in all, let's just do our best during this time and look at the pros. I'm happy that I have all this equipment now and always will have it wherever I move to. And I'm learning about a new field of fitness that I never really learned about before, which is working out from home. That's pretty cool. Anyways, enjoy the workout and let's get on with the rest of the vlog. All right, people, so time for a poverty first meal of the day. We are doing the classic tuna and egg whites, also known as the weird meal that I enjoy. We're also gonna add in a pepper to that, just 
a bit of veggies, add some color to it, and you literally just like scramble it all in the pan. It's so cheap, so high in protein, and it's it honestly it tastes strangely good. Maybe I just think so, anyways. Also, I got this little chopper thing in, I think it was Whole Foods or something and I'm obsessed with it. Like, it's like one of the best parts of my day now. Like, this is how bored I am. Chopping a pepper with a new kitchen utensil. That's like, that's like the buzz now. Oh, satisfaction. Thumbs up for this. Today is gonna be a sick day. Love a random meal combo. And that's lean in quarantine. Oh, it's a YouTube channel like no other. You wouldn't get this on the body coach. All right, people, that is my famous tuna and egg white scramble. That is self-discipline in a pan. If you start your day with that, you can stick to your diet. So we're gonna eat this and then I think we're gonna go out on our daily walk, which is definitely one of the highlights of quarantine life. All right, so it's back from the daily outing and also put a few bits in Whole Foods to last us the week. Uh, I'll go try everything when we get home. This weather is so good. Like London gets really hot in the summer. So I'm hoping things clear up at some stage. Like who knows, July, August, I don't know. I don't think anyone knows. Type your opinion down in the comments, but all we do is stay positive. So grateful. So here's some of the interesting stuff we got in Whole Foods. We have some of the basics in the drawer over there, like pasta, canned goods, toilet paper, all that good stuff. So we go to the shopping grocery store less often, but so this is a few of the best we picked up. Okay, first of all, sushi, having that for lunch. We got some country crisp cereal, meridian peanut butter, low fat milk. Now, tomato puree, We've got some pizza basis, pineapple, chicken, Ham. We're making pizza for dinner. You can probably guess what flavor of pizza we're making. It's bound to piss a few people off. Steak, peppers, courgette. Uh, I love these like hot citrus, organic fucking ginger shots. They're delicious. Well, they're not delicious. They like feel like they're good for you. I just like them. Eggs, watermelon, cheese, tomato and then a Greek salad. I'm probably gonna have that at some stage today as well. Mushrooms and then some little protein bars we're gonna have with them. We got cookie mix, chocolate baking drops, butter, which I never get, and we're gonna have a little bit of a bake off one of these days. So that's it, that's our whole foods trip. Now it's time to eat sushi. I'm gonna go for this one. few moments later. Right, the land is after making me a bowl of cereal. As you've seen in my last video, I just, just can't stop eating cereal. I'm just like, it's the best. It's actually the ultimate food. Like it hits different as well when you don't have for breakfast. I never have cereal for breakfast, but lunch and dinner hits different. I have for breakfast and lunch. Yeah, true, you actually are on the cereal meal plan. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna eat some of this Country Crisp now and just enjoy life and be happy. Oh my God, it actually looks insane. What's going on everyone? So last time I checked in, we were eating a bowl of cereal. That was amazing. Now I've been at my desk for the last couple of hours and this is where I spend most of my time. It's like my little shrine of positivity I love it, my favorite room in the house. Like I said in my business video, I think this is a great time to work on some projects that you had going on because we've all got a little bit more time on our hands. So it's a good time to be productive. But also, if you're using this as a time to relax and just stay still and kind of chill out for a little bit, that's productive in its own way too. There's no right or wrong answer. Me personally, I actually made one of the biggest investments I've ever made in my entire life on a few new projects that I'll be starting when everything's back to normal. One of them's actually a physical product, okay? And it's gonna be the first time I've actually came out with my own physical product, its own company. I doubt anyone will guess what it is, but when you see me release it, you'll be like, ah, it'll make sense. I'm also putting more work into my online fitness app, completely redoing it, rebranding it, and that's gonna be a huge project in itself. So a lot to come in the next few months, and I'm really excited. And yeah, a lot of work to do. Anyway, so I'm editing up a swipe workout for Instagram. I'm gonna put that up straight away. And then we are gonna go back into the kitchen. We're gonna make some homemade Lipsetti pizza. We're gonna watch our Netflix series and then finish up this vlog. So see you guys then. Later. It is pizza time. So here's a quick look at the ingredients. Not 
putting this on the pizza. That will not make things any better. Ooh, sexy pajamas. <laughs> wow, I'm so lucky. I'm gonna put that meme up on the screen. Yeah, the one that's like what you expect versus what you get. All right, so we're gonna make some pizza. Maybe Hawaiian pizza. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Comment down below. I like it. I, I think this is gonna be mixed like feedback. I think 50% are gonna like it. But you can still take the recipe and just not put pineapple on it. This, believe it or not, this was one of the first ever recipes I posted on my Facebook page in 2014. This is like an OG recipe. It's in my book. It's one of my favorite recipes ever, okay? And it, it's pretty straightforward, right? But there is a trick. Pass down through generations. All right, you put on your puree. Very low calories in puree. It's pretty much just tomatoes. This is actually a very healthy recipe. Go hard on the puree, because it'll add a lot of flavor. So that's two tablespoons there. Now, you may be saying, Rob, the cheese goes on after puree. No, okay, this is a revolutionary tactic. What you do is, okay, you get your base, you put the puree on, then you put the toppings on, and lastly, lastly, you put the cheese on, and it locks it all down. It's a thin base. You're not getting your Domino's classic crust, you know? You're not getting like 200 grams of carbs in it. It's a macro-friendly pizza, so you need to make it like structurally sound. So the key to that is you put the cheese on very last and it locks everything in place so it doesn't fall apart when you eat it. Let's chop up one pineapple ring. Pineapple on. She's on last. It locks the pizza down, haha, <laughs> get it? Because we're in lockdown. All right, so that is it. We are gonna season it. And then I'm gonna put it on the pan and then put the pan under the grill, like I do with everything. And it's gonna cook it perfectly, so. So this is my equivalent of like, you see, ever see those big like wooden boards? that like the chefs put in the pizza oven. This is like my equivalent of that. Nice little before and after. So that's pizza before the oven and after. This is the after. I'm absolutely delighted with that. That looks so good. Linda's, <laughs> it, I, I feel this could actually be mine. You've like intertwined it very well. Art. So I put that in the oven and we'll see how it compares. We'll see who wins the pizza competition because when you're in a relationship, everything's a competition. <laughs> Yum. That does look good. Loving the cutter. Cutter is the real MVP. <laughs> so there are pizzas, our healthy pizzas. And now this was one of the best purchases that we got out of all the random stuff that I've been buying recently on Amazon. Um, what is it, Nebula Projector. So we are watching Money Heist on Netflix. It's our current favorite show. It's very good. It's actually a Spanish show and it's dubbed, but you can barely notice it. So yeah, so gonna eat this pizza now. Looks amazing and enjoy and just relax for the evening. This is how bad we are, okay. Eight minutes, 40 seconds in. Pizzas are done and dusted. Linda is also a speed eater like me. But uh, so we're gonna save the other two for tomorrow and we're gonna make chicken and mushroom with them. They were so good. Highly recommend trying them out. And now uh, the last thing I'm gonna eat today, or the last thing I plan on eating today, like, you know, could be a bit of snacking involved. I'm trying to cut down on that though. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have one of these oppos. These are low calorie ice cream per half tub, 178 calories, so. Obviously gonna eat the whole tub now, and we're gonna continue on with our series, and then we'll wrap up the video. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a McFlurry. All right, so just finished the show there. We're on episode seven. If you've any other Netflix recommendations, please let us know, but we're gonna continue on with that. Apparently there's four seasons. Mad. But, um, so right, I'm gonna finish up this vlog here. Hope you enjoyed it. I know, obviously, with these quarantine vlogs, it's gonna be a little bit repetitive. <laughs> you know, we literally <laughs> have to do the same thing every day. But look, I hope you're enjoying it anyways. And I'm gonna do a few other videos, like, you know, whiteboard videos, where I, like, dedicate it to one topic and go in on it. So, give the video a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Keep it real. I'm out here. Peace.